Hey guys, it's Amy Dove, the Keto Queen. How are you doing? Let me know where you're watching from and what you're doing for dinner tonight that's low carb or keto friendly. I drove home from North Carolina this morning, went straight to the office to get some work done, and now we're in the kitchen. So, Ricky and I are excited to be in the kitchen. Ricky's watching some TV while I get supper ready. I'm excited to eat. Guys, where are you watching from and what are you doing for dinner tonight that's low carb or keto friendly? We're making some air fried chicken tenders and onion rings. We're gonna take a second crack at some onion rings. Guys, I made an amazing dip. Oh, I'm so excited for this dip. I just tasted it, it tastes pretty good. So, if you guys can hear me, give me some hearts. Facebook seems to be acting really weird right this second. A while ago, I tried to hit live and it just kept rolling and rolling. So, I wanna make sure you guys can hear me. Give me some hearts if you can hear me. It's not showing me comments either. What in the world's going on with this thing? Let's see, swipe left to reveal comments. Oh, I see some hearts. Great. <laughs> Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jolie, for telling me you're from Wisconsin. Now I know Facebook is working. Guys, I'm excited to be home. We had so much fun in North Carolina, and I love to come home and get right back on track. So, so many times people go on trips, whether it's work-related or fun-related, but it really gets them off track. And then they come into this situation of spiraling out of control where they ate stuff on the road and then they went to restaurants and ate stuff they normally wouldn't. And then they come home and they're like, nah, I don't feel like cooking. I don't want to do low carb. I'm just going to eat the pizza. I'm going to stop and get burgers. But guys, it really is a habit that you create. Daily habits make huge differences in your lifestyle. So we're, we came home, or I came home from North Carolina, drove straight to the office to work, and now I'm in the kitchen doing what I do every single day of the week. So let me just tell you guys, I have to start off with one comment. I'm going to say it one time. For those who feel like I have changed, I'm so sorry you feel that way. I'm the same person. I'm the same person who loves their family, loves to cook, loves to help you guys. I'm just helping more people. I get to travel and then come home and cook. So I travel and come home and cook. So if I hurt your feelings, I sure hate that. But I am here to help people. So if you guys are looking for something easy and delicious to eat and cook with 30 minutes or less in and out of the kitchen, then you're in the right place. And give me some hearts and share this video. So I've already got one batch of chicken tenders that's about to come out of the air fryer. So we're fixing to start mixing up our chicken tenders and then we're gonna do another crack at the air fried onion rings. I've done it before, but I didn't absolutely love them. Uh, so we're gonna do it again. And guys, I made an amazing dip. I'm fixing to show you first about this dip because I'm telling you, I just put my finger in it and it's fantastic. Yes, I put my finger in it. It's just mine and Ricky's. So, <laughs> let me tell you about this dip while we're waiting on these chicken tenders to come out. We're going to make our next batch of tenders and then we're going to start on some onion rings. So, the dip, guys. I used one-fourth cup of mayo. I love my avocado mayo. I used one tablespoon of Swerve Confection Sweetener. So, one tablespoon of sweetener two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. I'm gonna tell you this again. Two teaspoons of a squeezed lemon juice. Oh yes, it's a fresh lemon. And two tablespoons of barbecue sauce. Now I personally used the sweet and spicy barbecue sauce by G Hughes. So guys, you just mix those things together in this dip. I'm gonna stick my finger in it again if y'all don't care and I'll wash it. Mm, it is so good. It almost tastes like a barbecue honey mustard. It is so good y'all. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands now. <laughs> yummy. All right, let's go ahead and talk about these chicken tenders. That first batch is almost done. My 10 minute timer is about to go off and guys, that's how fast it is to make this dinner. So we love chicken strips because we love dips. So you don't have to make a dip. You can use any kind of low carb dip, but I love to mix things up. And I can't remember where I found this, but I kind of tweaked it up a little bit. I added the sweet and spicy uh, element to it. But on the chicken tenders, Ooh, what we're doing is we're using grated Parmesan to create an air fryer crust that just went off. And in that grated Parmesan, I did not have measurements. You literally just add your seasonings to make a beautiful colored crust. I personally used uh, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. That's it. You just season that grated Parmesan cheese with parse, not parse, I'm sorry, paprika. <laughs> Onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. Mix it up and make sure that that crust is a beautiful seasoned uh, color. And then we took our chicken strips 
and we dipped them in an egg wash. So I literally just used eggs because I'm out of heavy cream. So I just put some eggs in a bowl. We're gonna dip the chicken in the egg and then in the crust and then put it in the air fryer. Let me show you what these look like. I gotta get me a little spatula. They look and smell delicious. I've got a little, um, oh my gosh, those look good. I've got me a little pan over here because as we're cooking batches, because we're doing uh, onion rings, we're gonna put these in the oven just so they can stay warm. Not cooked, I'm just gonna put them in the oven and if I need to turn the warmer on, I can. But guys, look how beautiful these are. Oh my goodness. These look like restaurant quality chicken strips and I love to provide restaurant quality food out of this kitchen because my husband loves me for all of my awesome cooking. <laughs> all right, so a lot of people ask me, when you cook in the air fryer, do you flip your meat? And the answer is no, I normally do not. So look how beautiful these look on top. Guys, when we eat our chicken strips, we actually, I mean, some people might pick them up, but I don't, I just use a fork. But look on this side, they may be a little uh, soft, but that's okay, because we just put them right on our plate just like this and use our fork and dip it. But look, aren't those beautiful? So let me get these out of the way. We're gonna make our second batch so you can see how to do it so easy. And then we're gonna move on to some onion rings. All right, so we're gonna take our chicken. My hands are gonna get dirty again. We're gonna take our chicken. We're gonna dip it into the egg wash. It's just eggs. Uh, if you have some heavy cream, sometimes I'll put heavy cream in there to make my egg wash. And then you're just gonna take this chicken and you're going to roll it into the batter. This is the, the batter I'm using for the chicken strips. The onion rings are gonna be a little different. So we are going to just roll it up here and then move it to your air fryer. Now my air fryer is on 350 and it's gonna cook for 10 minutes. Chicken strips I love because chicken strips, um, because chicken strip, oh, almost dropped, it's breaking. I like chicken strips because they cook really fast. I like to cook fast. You can use chicken breast in this seasoning and have chicken breast, um, but we just like chicken strips because they're fast and easy and we like dips and it just feels weird dipping a chicken breast in dip. <laughs> so we like chicken tenders just like a kid does. Uh, so you just roll it into the mix. And again, this mix was made with grated Parmesan, paprika, salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. And you just season it until it looks pretty. You can taste it if you want to. Uh, but I don't have measurements for this. I just throw it together and make it pretty. So you'll see, this does not look like grated Parmesan cheese, right? It's not white. It's actually uh, flavored and beautiful colored with those seasonings I chose. The thing I love about making your air fryer mix is you really can make it however you want to. There are tons of seasonings you can use and you can make it your own. So we're just dipping the chicken and then rolling it into the mix and we're gonna throw this in the air fryer. And we're gonna chat for a quick second and get the onion ring batter ready. So these can cook for about 10 minutes. Now when you're cooking batches in your air fryer, your air fryer is hot, right? It's already hot. It's been on for 10 minutes while ago. So it's gonna take 10 minutes or even possibly less to do your next batch. I gotta wash my hands before I can even close it. Let me get all this crap out of the way and we're gonna move on to the onion rings. close this up so we can get this cooking again 350 10 minutes now your air fryer may be different this is the Cuisinart TOA 60 by the way your air fryer may be bit different it may cook faster it may cook slower so this is just how I use mine could you use egg whites absolutely instead of eggs I don't see why not it's just an egg wash uh, it doesn't taste eggy it just holds the crust on just like anything else you would make a wash with all right let's talk about the onion rings very similar so we've got our onion rings. I've got them cut up into rings. I really like them bigger, but you know, I'm not perfect at this. I'm trying to get perfect at onion rings. This is the second time I've tried and I, I hope I'm gonna like these better. So guys, I will tell you, I'm always very honest about the recipes and if I love them or if I still wanna tweak them. So we've got our onion rings cut up into rings. We are gonna use the same base. We're gonna use some grated Parmesan cheese. Oh, let me redo that because I actually have a recipe I'm gonna follow for this because that's the only way I know how to tweak it. So, darn. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to make a mess, I don't wanna make a mess. Let me get a spoon. I'll do it with this. All right, start over. 
Oh, look, this might actually be it. Because we're going to start off with two-thirds cup of grated Parmesan cheese. So, look, I was going to clean it up with this, but it looks like it's perfect. Look at that. I mean, two-thirds grated Parmesan. <laughs> perfect. Two-thirds grated Parmesan. And we're going to use two-thirds of almond flour. So, we got two-thirds cup of grated Parmesan and two-thirds cup of almond flour. Guys, this is going to be in the post for you, so you don't have to try to remember it all. And if I love it, it's going into the recipe blog later. If I can open this. Ah, there we go. All right, so I got two-thirds cup of Parmesan cheese, two-thirds cup of almond flour. Guys, I do not know what you can replace if you're allergic to nut flour, so I'm so sorry. And then we're going to do a tablespoon of coconut flour. Tablespoon of coconut flour. This look, looks like a whole lot for one onion. That's okay. I said we're going to try it. I'm going to, I'm still tweaking here. And we're going to season it with parsley and paprika and salt and pepper. So you see, I'm not measuring this. You can, I would say a teaspoon. Uh, you can always add more, but I like to see the color of the seasonings in my crusts. So I would say a teaspoon of each of these. You can do more if you want, but parsley and paprika, salt and pepper. I love to have fun with my air fryer mixes because you really can make them however you want to. Salt and pepper. I'm almost out of pepper. I gotta make a grocery list. All right, we're gonna mix this up. Again, I'm using two thirds cup of Parmesan cheese, two thirds cup of almond flour, one tablespoon of coconut flour, and salt, pepper, paprika, and parsley. I have to think about it. <laughs> Now you can see this and this just looks like almond flour. I can't see the seasonings. I really like to see my seasonings. So I'm actually gonna add more. You don't have to, you can taste this. You can stick a wet finger in it and taste it if you want to. I guess I could do that. I guess I could do that. I'm making a mess now with this one. Okay. Hmm. No, I want more. <laughs> I want more, I don't want to taste almond flour. All right, paprika, parsley, salt and pepper. Cool. Again, guys, I will be honest and tell you when I'm finished with this, if I liked the onion rings. So I always post the plated meal just a little later. It sounds good. Salt and pepper. Probably should have measured all those seasonings. I feel like I'm wasting some of this flour because there's no way I'm gonna use all that flour for that little bee onion. Ooh, them chicken tenders smell good. All right, that's good enough. All right, we are going to now take another egg wash and we're going to dip the onion rings in the egg and then this crust and then the air fryer. So we're basically doing the same thing. We're just using different seasonings and making a different crust. So do you bake? Um, I don't bake very often because I just love my air fryer, it's fast. Um, and since I got my air fryer, I just rarely use the oven. Um, I know it's pitiful, but you can use your oven. You can use your oven for this recipe. All you do is season them up just like I'm doing and pop them in the oven. Uh, you might want to broil just a little bit, uh, but that's completely up to you. You can use your oven. Uh, I just love my air fryer. It's fast and easy. All right, those are almost done. That timer's almost done. Let me get my little plate out so I can move them over. those. I mean, <laughs> chicken tenders galore. All right, let me put these back in the oven. Then we're going to start with these onion rings. Ooh, All right, let me take a paper towel and just clean this out. Ooh. 
Does it really matter? Oh, I'm about to make a mess. Oh, shoot. Pull it all the way out. I'm just going to get some of this extra crust out of here. Not that it really matters, but oh. that crust fell apart. All right, so let's go. We're going to dip some onion rings in the onion and the uh, eggs. And then into the crust. And this is the thing that I haven't fallen in love with yet about the onion rings. It does make a very thin little crust, which is fine. As long as it's seasoned good, it's fine. But I really like like a thick, like when you go to the restaurant, you want a big, thick onion ring, right? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to do that. So if you guys have advice for me, go ahead and put it in the comments. Because I want a big, thick restaurant style onion ring. I just haven't figured out how to do that yet. I guess you have to have a big, ginormous onion, right? All right, and you don't want to overlap these. Like, I guess you want a big, fat onion, I guess. Uh, you don't want to overlap them. <clears throat> You want them to lay on their own. If they overlap, it's just gonna take longer to cook and they're not going to uh, crisp up as much as you'd want them to. Ah. So this is just timing. It's just time consuming, that's it. Other than that, it's easy and fast. I said, I said it's time consuming, now I said it's easy and fast. That doesn't make sense, does it? This takes a couple more minutes because there's a lot more onions. <laughs> Lord of mercy, I got a mess in my hands. So it's just a very thin little seasoned layer of onion ring. Hopefully they're gonna taste delicious and I'm gonna tell you later that this recipe is the, that's it. I've done the research, I've tested, I've changed it up a little bit. This is the one I like. We'll see. <laughs> Still working on onion rings. Guys, I will ask you right now, if you have a favorite low-carb or keto-friendly onion ring recipe that you already love, you found it, it is it, put it in the comments. I'd love to know. I really want to make an excellent onion ring because we, my husband loves onion rings. I just haven't perfected it yet for myself. I'm going to do a couple more and then we're going to turn these on. I'm sure it ah. mm, Do two more. I'm going to make a messy, 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 messy. Took one more. You want to make sure the egg wash is on every inch of this. All right, so this is what they're looking like right now. We're going to turn this, whoop, we're going to turn this air fryer on for the same amount of time. I'm going to do 10 minutes. So you'll see that uh, the almond flour is already falling off. This is the only thing I haven't figured out how to perfect is these darn onion rings. So we are going to try them again tonight. See what we think. I will give you my own criticism later. <laughs> um, one trick, slice your onion thick. If you're lucky, you'll find the onion that is thick. If not, leave a few slices together. Thank you, Lynn. Uh, you might try double dipping them. Thank you, Lisa. Uh, let's see. I'm just looking real quick. Let me run. I'm going to run up to the top and see if you guys have any questions for me. I'm glad you're here. Press share if this video has been helpful. If you like those uh, chicken tenders. Oh, they said my video was frozen. I'm sorry, guys. Um, trying to find out if the keto broth works like that. No, Terry, the keto broth is a broth. Uh, so you can use it as a meal. You can use it as a snack. Uh, you can use it with warm water. You can use it with cold water, depending on the flavor. I like the salted caramel myself, cold with ice cold water. You can even blend it. Uh, but most people like it with warm water. 
Uh, oh, that's awesome. Laura got the same awesome gift. Okay, great, guys. The bone broth is great for your hair and nails. Like, the bone broth has so many benefits. If you read the information that come with it, I think it's on the box. There's some great information about what the bone broth is for. But make sure that you, um, make sure that you uh, mix that and drink it in addition to your ketones. The keto nat is not, is not a replacement for keto nat. Send me a message, though, if you have any questions so I can help you. I buy the boneless breast and cut it into shrimps a lot cheaper. Oh, yes, Joanne. I've done that before, too, honey. Definitely have done that before. Uh, dip it in the cheese first, then egg, then back to cheese. Okay, thank you, Grace. Um, I made onion rings for Sonic, and we double-breaded our onion rings. Might want to try that. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the advice. Mm. Put the onions in ice water in the refrigerator before you batter them. Super cold helps keep the batter stick. Well, thank you. That was a great little trick. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. If I can do anything for you, make sure you reach out. I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning up this little bit of mess. And I will post the picture later this evening, guys. Have an awesome one. Bye.